What's up guys, it's Adam here and this week for my C43 AMG vlog we're going to be looking at the amazing brand new AMG Digital Dash. So, before we look at the display, I just wanted to show you the amazing new AMG steering wheel. Aside from looking awesome, it actually has some really practical buttons and improvements over the previous generation. On each side of the steering wheel here, we have these little black touchpads. The one on the right here controls the digital dash. If you look closely, you can see as I move my thumb left and right, there's a little yellow outline moving from the left and right side of the screen. Then, if I do the same with the touchpad on the left side of the steering wheel, I can control the main command screen in the middle. Although they're small, they actually work really well once you get used to using them. Right, now let's get onto the main display that you're here to see. So, when you first enter the car, you are greeted with this awesome welcome animation. Then, once you start the engine, the car's full display comes to life. I really like what AMG have done here with the AMG Super Sport screen. There's so many lovely little details and it's really colourful and vibrant. In the middle here you've got the big central rev counter and in the centre you have the large digital readout of your speed. But what's also cool, particularly in manual mode, is that you have a nice big number of what gear you're currently in while you're driving. The two screens on each side are fully customisable, we'll talk more about this soon. But first I just wanted to show you guys the other display options you can choose from. So, if we hit the menu button here, then we scroll across using our right thumb and go all the way to design. Here, we're on Super Sport right now, which is the AMG exclusive display. Then, here's what it looks like in Sport. This takes you to more of a two-dial standard setup, but with still a bit of a sporty feel. Then there's Classic, which is also a standard setup, but it's a bit more clean and sophisticated. So, what we're going to do now is go back to the AMG Super Sport screen, then I'm going to show you absolutely everything you can display on both the left and right hand side of the screens. Right, so let's open up the menu and start all the way from the left. The first one here is Service. Here you've got your messages and warnings. Next up is your tyres. If you look closely you can see it's not only displaying my tyre pressure, but it's also displaying the temperature of each tyre. That's some cool stuff. Then here we've got our Syst Plus, which is just your service schedule. Here we have our coolant levels. Then it's your consumption. For those wondering, that's my mile per gallon levels over 3,768 miles. If we go back to the menu again, the next one we have here is assistance. So this is really cool. When driving here, the diagram will show you the car in front of you and it will tell you how many yards apart you are. If we scroll down, we've got attention assist. Now, Attention Assist is a safety feature that comes with all new Mercedes. From the moment you start driving, it monitors all your actions and creates a driver profile for you. Then if the car detects any negative change of your driving style, it will display a warning on the dash suggesting that you might be tired and to have a rest. So, next up is the AMG Performance Screens. The first here screen tells you your fluid temperatures along with a little boost meter that fills up in orange when your turbos are engaged. This is one of my favourites here, you get the nice boost meter but you also get a list of all your options in your current drive mode. So if you look closely here at the exhaust icon, you can see it change now from balanced to powerful as I press the exhaust button in the car. Next here is the G meter screen, very cool stuff. You can also display this in more detail on the centre screen while driving. Here you can set a lap timer if you take the car out on the track. Then the last one here is another boost gauge, but under the gauge are some pretty cool displays. The top one displays the amount of horsepower you are currently using, and the one below displays the amount of newton meters of torque. Very cool. Right, back to the menu now, we're going to head into Trip. So the first screen here is the general miles of the car. As you can see here, I've done 3,768 miles. Next screen shows a live mile per gallon along with your range. Then here we've got Eco Display. It's designed to give you an overview of how you are driving in order to help you improve your mile per gallon. The chart here is divided into three sections and each part plays an impact on your mile per gallon based on how you drive. 
If you drive eco-friendly, then above the chart, the text will tell you how many bonus miles you've achieved. If you've been watching my other videos though, you can probably guess I don't do very well on the eco chart, but hey, it's still a cool feature to have. Then we've got mile per gallon from the start of the journey. Don't worry about my awful mile per gallon here, it's just because I've been running the engine on idle. Then here it shows you your mile per gallon figures from your last reset. Here you can see in 3212 miles I've done 19.3 mile per gallon. Now I do quite a lot of spirited driving in Sport Plus mode so that's not too bad. Although I'd say if you drive in comfort mode quite conservatively you can easily do 22 to 25 mile per gallon in this car. So back to the menu again and now we're on to navigation. If you have your navigation running in this screen, it will show you your next turn. And as you can see on the right side of the screen, you can have your map up. So it's really great and easy to use. So if we bring the menu back up here, the next we have is radio. Here it displays the current radio station and you can scroll up and down to different radio stations. Then we have media. Here you can access all your media. If playing a song, it will show the cover and any information about the track in the screen here. Next up is your phone. Here you can make calls and you can see your call lists. Then the last one here is design. That's the menu I showed you guys earlier when we changed the style of the dials. So on the AMG Supersport screen, let's take a look at what we can display on the right hand side of the screen now. Here we currently have the map display, which I really like. Then if we scroll up, we get a nice mile per gallon screen. It tells you your live mile per gallon, along with your miles and driving time since you started your journey. Then we scroll up again and we get a much cooler looking version of the tire pressures and temperatures. This is the AMG screen we saw earlier that displays the current horsepower and torque being used along with the nice boost gauge. Here's the G-meter from earlier too. And lastly, today's date. So with the right side of the screen, it's a little bit different to the left. You are limited to just the options down here that I'm scrolling through. Do you see the little circles there on the right? That shows which screen you're currently on and if you can scroll up and down. Whereas the screens on the left can be fully customizable. With a click of the menu button on the steering wheel, you can choose exactly what you want to be displayed here. So there you have it guys, that is a full overview of pretty much everything you can do on the brand new AMG Digital Dash. Of course, as always, if anyone has any questions about the C43 or the Digital Dash, then just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. If you like this video, then please remember to hit the thumbs up and check out some of my other C43 videos. And hey, if you like my content, then I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. There's lots more C43 content to come. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.